Hi, it's Matthew with Brevure Software. Today I'm going to take you through setting up your company or organization in Optitune. So if you haven't heard of Optitune, Optitune is a IT management system for managing hundreds or thousands of computers in a company or organization. It's used by companies, uh, nonprofits, schools, uh, and managed service providers, which are companies who provide IT services to other companies but chiefly it's used by IT departments of large corporations. So Optitune offers a free one year trial for up to 10 computers. So this gives you an, a way to really test it out and make sure it's going to work for your company or organization. So to get started, go to the main Optitune website, just search for Optitune on Google, or we'll, we'll put a link down in the description below and click on the free one year trial. Next, you'll enter in your name, first name, last name, and email, and read and accept the end user license agreement. And once you do this, see here, here the example uh, company I'm going to use is acmewidgets.net. Once you click submit, we'll email you a registration code with instructions. And in that email, you click on the link, and it will take you to this page in the, on the Optitune management portal. So here it gives you an overview of, you know, setting yourself up with Optitune. You get a license either by purchasing one or getting a free one. Choose your management server. In this case, we'll be using the cloud-based management server at httpsmanage.optitune.com. And Optitune also offers the um, option of hosting your own management server on your own hardware. The only thing that's required is uh, basically the Microsoft Stack IIS, a SQL Server, and a HTTPS Server Certificate. So, the, the basically the first step is to hit this link here, registration page, and you'll fill out these fields uh, with your registration code that you received in email, a username, password, first name, last name, email address, your time zone, etc, etc. Uh, and here's, here's an example we, that we filled in. So this, this username is going to be demo admin. Note that the username is different from your email address and you can change your email address and keep the same username basically. So then you click register button after filling in these fields. And finally, uh, it will take you to a page where you can log in with the credentials that you just created. So then you type in your credentials, hit sign in and you'll be at the main um, overview page in the Optitune Management Console. So here, this is, this is the overview page. As you can see, there's no computers registered in Optitune right now. Uh, there's no, you know, nothing here. It's all just blank data. And so it, there's a kind of a welcome section, getting started with Optitune. The first step you'll need to do is download the agent software, and that's the software that runs on each PC that you want to manage through Optitune. Uh, the second step for setting up Opt Optitune is modeling your business organization. So that is modeling the groups, sites, sub companies, whatever it is, uh, as it relates to IT management. So for example, if you're a company that has offices in different countries, or you have different departments, or different sites, you can do it all from the organization hierarchy page. And finally, you'll set up alerting. So when you want to receive alerts about, uh, you know, a server going down, uh, whatever it is, a uh, virus uh, was found on the computer, this is where you would do that. And it's not turned on by default, so you would have to set that up. So first we'll look at installing the agent software. So there's two options for installing the agent software. One is to download a zip file uh, and then extract it and run this install command from the zip file. And this is useful when you're deploying it widely and you want to use some other automated means uh, to install the Optitune agent. Uh, so basically you could look through this install.command that's in the zip file and see what, uh, what you should do. The other way which I'm going to show you today is the custom installer. So if you don't have an automated way to, de to deploy the Optitune agent and you're relying on end users to install it, you can create this custom installer which is end user friendly. It's basically just a regular installer, 
but it will, it will install Optitune in one click and it will associate that computer that's installed on with your organization. So it'll show up here. You don't have to specify any other information like what, what's the name of my organization or some key or anything. It's, it's all included. So I'll click add, add custom installer. For the name, I'm just going to put uh, default. I think we have to fill in a description too. And I'm going to leave the other fields as is. It's, it's basically uh, pretty straightforward. I'm going to hit save. Uh, the, the interesting thing is you can customize pretty much everything in this installer. You can customize the icon, the name of the application uh, that they'll see in add remove programs. So you can basically fully brand it to your company if, if you like. So now I'm going to click save. And now it's going to start building the installer. So this will take uh, uh, maybe 30 seconds or so while it builds the installer on the server. Okay, now, now it's finished. So now there's this link here. Um, and this link is publicly accessible to anyone on the internet. So you have to keep it a secret uh, unless you want, uh, you know, anyone registering a computer. But basically what you do is you email all of the end users you want to install their computer, to, uh, sorry, to install the Optitune agent. And they can click this link, run the setup, and their computer will then be manageable by Optitune. So I'm going to install this Optitune agent on this computer that I'm showing you the demo from. And I'll just click run, and I think the screen's gonna go blank while I accept the security prompt. I'm gonna click yes, and here we go. So it's basically a, a regular uh, Windows installer, and you can customize the name. So if I if I click, um, entered in a different name, it would say, welcome to the Acme Widgets agent, for example. click next okay and that's it now the Optitune agent is running on this computer and within 10 minutes this computer will show up in Optitune so let's let's go back and see what's happened oh it's already shown up that was fast um, so now I'll click on this computer here it is and now we can see that this computer is now connected to Optitune now, an interesting thing when you look at the computer detail screen is the polling interval and the connection status. Uh, these will change depending on whether or not the computer is actually connected and talking to the management server. So not all the information in, in about the computer will be here yet. For example, it will take a while to get all the Windows updates information. Uh, like right here, you'll see right now it hasn't reported in its Windows update status. Uh, because the computer's this is actively running this task to check for updates and report back the status uh, and other things may not already be in here it will take probably usually less than a half hour for everything to be filled in um, so we'll go back to our overview and you can see here you know there's not none of this information is filled in yet except that the computer exists so now we'll just run a really quick tool uh, just to test that the Optitune agent is working okay. I'm going to, I'm going to use our new uh, PowerShell remote administration tool. Now it's going to take a while. Oh, okay. It's starting up. There we go. So now I am using a web browser based PowerShell on my remote computer, which happens to be this local computer that I'm showing you the demo from and you've got a full PowerShell. Uh, another cool tool that we have is the Task Manager, and Remote Connect is for is like Remote Desktop for controlling the computer's desktop. And I'll, I'll just show you um, the Task Manager really quick. So here's the Task Manager. It shows you some graphs of the CPU usage, memory usage, network usage, things like that. And it can also see the list of running processes on the computer. Uh, you can end a process or, uh, you know, change the priority if you, for example, you know, click the checkbox and hit end task, that'll end that process there. 
So that uh, concludes our basic overview of getting started with Optitune.